warm greeting myself dr sunil natham haske working as a dean and professor in pediatrics at dr vithal rao vikhe patil foundation medical college and hospital ahmednagar in maharashtra today we are going to discuss a very important and forthcoming topic in near future that is the artificial intelligence in pediatric practice artificial intelligence is known as in short as ai as per merriam webster the definition of artificial intelligence is the capability of a machine to imitate intelligent human behavior here according to merriam and webster machine and human they are correlated when we talk about artificial intelligence robotics is generally the first aspect that pops into our mind that might be because this is what we all commonly associate with artificial intelligence but in reality artificial intelligence is far bigger than robots and complex space centers artificial intelligence has also influenced the healthcare sector ai has improved the reality of healthcare from a simple digital thermometer to a complex ct scanner everything is filled with the aura of artificial intelligence by introducing different technologies and machines ai has made the task of doctors much more easier and also reliable the rapid development of information technology has evolved advances in artificial intelligence big data processing and cloud computing with significant and far reaching effects on the structure and efficiency of the traditional healthcare industry as well as the establishment of and maintenance of modern medical management information systems the accelerated establishment of large amount of healthcare data has fundamental basis or in the artificial intelligence the use of artificial intelligence in medicine can be tracked back to 1968 when paicha has published his paper on this artificial intelligence few years later short life et al they have also presented an expert system name mycin which was able to identify bacteria causing severe blood infections and to recommend proper antibiotics despite the fact that mycin outperformed members of the stanford medical college in the reliability of diagnosis it was never used in practice due to legal issue who do you sue if it gives a wrong diagnosis that's why the technology in artificial intelligence for healthcare sector was prolonged however only in 2016 when the artificial intelligence software built into the ibm watson ai platform which has correctly diagnosed and proposed an effective treatment for a 60 years old woman whose have the rare form of leukemia and also that ai has suggested the use of medicine and after that use of ai in healthcare sector was become the popular the first paper that is the shelf of ai in pediatrics was published in 1984 after that different practitioners and scientists have come up with their ideas and methods the pediatricians patient relationship is the cornerstone of providing medical services to children and the involvement of artificial intelligence not only improves operational efficacy efficiency but also enrich the nature of this pediatrician patient relationship for the diagnosis of common diseases that can benefit from many cases engineers can accumulate data regarding symptoms test indexes routine care treatments and responses along with follow up and prognosis using these big data sets a number of artificial intelligence based diagnostic models have been developed 
artificial intelligence solutions for handling data in the medical field such as electronic medical records medical imaging technology medical big data intelligent drug design and smart health management system have emerged which improves the standardization and accuracy of clinical decision making while providing more dimensions of data accumulation for medical knowledge based systems these development can also support physicians and researchers in the optimization of treatment plans and decision making about optimal treatment options gomberg metland and suza in 2017 has used artificial intelligence with deep machine learning to improve the pediatric pulmonary hypertension and its related diseases the main aim was to enable earlier and more accurate diagnosis of pulmonary hypertension they have also performed general analysis through comparative statistical methods and established a bison research network to analyze 186 children who were suffering from pulmonary hypertension and without pulmonary hypertension the application of artificial intelligence technology has enabled confirmation of the relationship between brain changes child behavior and it's expected to support the early diagnosis and treatment of diseases the application of artificial intelligence in neonatal daily care is also an important medical scenario mainly effective for monitoring the neonatal jaundice an information system was established with the help of mobile phone for the purpose of monitoring neonatal jaundice and the k nearest neighbor list angle regression fusion of list absolute shrinkage and selection operator elastic net ridge regression random forest support and vector regression have been applied in the machine learning algorithms for diagnosis and monitoring of neonatal jaundice new paradigm shifting approach in machine learning predictive modeling functional immunophenotyping and artificial intelligence have been developed to improve understanding and specificity in refining definitions of disease there has been rapid growth in both computing power and data storage which enables wide range of applications for machine learning and artificial intelligence within the medicine field the artificial intelligence refers to the domain of task that historically required human input while in machine learning subset of artificial intelligence are using this data without expecting programming both have impacted drug discovery personalized diagnostic therapeutics and machine, medical imaging these are the just computerized terminology which are used in case of artificial intelligence like computer vision robotics machine learning which in par important part is artificial neural network then is automated reasoning knowledge regression representation natural language processing this also the language of the computer where artificial intelligence has expert systems natural language processing machine learning robotics and artificial intelligence there are few things which one should know in case of artificial intelligence that one is the prediction models prediction models have been the most implemented modality of a machine learning in clinical medicine these models use machine learning techniques to synthesize large amount of patient data into simplified scores which providers can use to assess the each patient's risk the clinical application of these models includes the prediction of kidney injury significant clinical deterioration and mortality prediction models are frequently deployed using single center data with validation performed on a separate cohort of the patient admitted to the same center the rise in popularity of similar models has led to call for greater rigors in their derivation to ensure true clinical utility then there are certain steps in predictive modeling using machine learning first step is understanding problem statement data collection data cleaning exploratory dna 
data analysis, modeling, then validation, deployment, and monitoring. This is also related with the predictive model. Then is the clinical decision support. In clinical decision support, the widespread adoption of electronic health records has been followed by the increased development of clinical decision support system. These systems range from medication interaction alerts to a patient safety reminders. This clinical decision support system have been demonstrated to improve processes, measures, and clinical outcomes. The utilization of machine learning algorithms for clinical decision support system is more recent and rapidly expanding. Then is a predictive modeling technique. There are several widely used illness severity scores in pediatric critical care that were developed over the past four decades using traditional approaches. The first widespread physiology-based scoring system to assess the risk of mortality in critically ill children was the Physiologic Stability Index. In short, it is known as PSI, which was published in 1984. The same group of investigators simplified this physiologic stability index into pediatric risk of mortality, that is a PRISM model scores for several years later. Another group developed pediatric index of mortality in 1996. The goal of this endeavor are to promote early recognition and appropriate treatment of pediatric organ dysfunction to create a globally accepted platform for universal nomenclature, promoting enhanced multi-institutional collaborative research. Artificial intelligence-based decision support is founded on machine learning, a subfield of computer science, which was defined by Arthur Samuel in 1959. The advantage of machine learning is that it learns from the data. Such data is routinely, routinely collected in electronic medical encounters and machine learning works well either on big data. However, it is also more sensitive than traditional statistical methods on small data. Artificial intelligence in pediatric technology was, in two, was used in from 2010 when digital stethoscopes were converted into cardio scans. This technology was called as computer assisted auscultation. And it is very useful in third world countries where the pediatric cardiologists are in short of supply. Just about the timeline of research literature production on artificial intelligence use in pediatrics. Before 2008, the research was focused on applications based on decision trees, genetic algorithms, artificial neural networks, and rules-based system. They were used for knowledge extraction and decision making. The areas were preterm birth, mortality, and survival prediction, and the cancers, neuroblastoma, melanoma, and lesion treatment. In between 2009 to 2012, application included use of discriminate analysis, logistic regression models, support vector machine for prediction, prognosis, therapy, care, feature selection, and signals like EEG, ECG, speech and image processing. Health areas concerned were infections, seizures, genetics, and pathology. And targeted age group was the newborns, premature infants, and young children. After 2013, this period was focused on application of machine learning in schizophrenia, pneumonia, asthma, abnormality, and epilepsy. The period is also characterized with a new target group, the children and autism spectrum disorder, children with attention deficit hyperactivity, and etc. The research focus was shifted from classification to predictive models. Now, we will see the use of artificial intelligence in pediatric practice. Artificial intelligence has developed different tools and software that aid in the sector of clinical medicines. Artificial learning just helps to reduce false alarms. Pediatric diagnosis, especially in case of cardiac surgeries, periventricular leukomalacia, and to diagnose the smallest organ of the newborn. Also, it helps researchers to study the skeletal maturity of infants, also helps in study of genotype and phenotype interrelation among the syndromes, and also helpful very, very in case of genetics. 
Artificial intelligence helps the infant having neurological disorders such as autism and several learning tasks. It helps them to build their minds by keeping them engaged. Also, child loves to interact with robots more than humans. Artificial intelligence gives access to variable technologies. They provide easy access to several medical procedures, especially in home data collection such as heart rate, respiratory rate, ECG, blood oxygen level, etc. Artificial intelligence also helps in curating and treatment several disorders like epilepsy, seizures, asthma, pneumonia, neonatal jaundice in child and adolescents. Besides these uses, there are certain limitations of artificial intelligence use in pediatric practice. Is that unstandardized data collection? Second, robotic technologies and robotic assistance are a serious threat to privacy and security issues of an individual. The data inserted in the device and system is always at the risk of being stolen and getting leaked. Artificial intelligence has a risk of meeting the terms and norms of regulatory policy. Sometimes the data collected is not able to meet the set standards. The artificial intelligence machines and techniques ask information from the users. The software shares this information further with the company's database. The share information can be leaked from the any users. And very important limitation is about the quality management. Conclusion, above analysis shows that artificial intelligence use in pediatric practice is expanding. Their use resulted in more accurate and faster diagnosis, improved decision making, more specific and sensitive identification, high risk and improved clinical outcomes. In that manner, there were less adverse events, less readmissions, and in general, less cost. However, the analysis also revealed that artificial intelligence is still not used to their full potential because the tools are not pediatrician friendly and require specific information technology skills to be employed. Second obstruction, most of the pediatricians either have never heard of artificial intelligence or they don't trust on it. Third hurdle, artificial intelligence use has been mostly tested only on small cases. And lastly, there are certain legal issues in the use of AI in general medicine, pediatrics, of course, in healthcare. To overcome above obstacles, artificial intelligence approaches must be made more user-friendly. Academic institutions should support and reward the development of AI capability and capacity in medical students. Successful application of AI in practice and research should gain academic and professional recognition and promotions. Now, there is a way ahead in the use of artificial intelligence in healthcare sector, especially in the pediatrics. At the same time, the development of AI faces several challenges such as standardized data collection, quality management, information sharing, privacy protection, regulatory policies, and ethical considerations. More artificial intelligence medical models are likely to emerge in the next few years. Artificial intelligence assisted laboratory testing, AI assisted medical imaging, AI based decision tree models for diagnosis and management of different pediatric diseases may develop rapidly. These models, as well as the regulatory framework for value based healthcare and the development of economic incentive, are all reasons for cautions, optimism about machine learning in the field of pediatrics. This is the danger if this is the double edged sword use of AI in every field, not only related to pediatrics or healthcare sector. In short, we have seen use of artificial intelligence in healthcare sector, especially in the pediatrics. Nowadays, it is expanding its legs everywhere in the field of the health, especially in the pediatrics, in the diagnosis of asthma, neonatal jaundice, malignancy, genetics, and so many things which are coming in the practice. In spite of few restrictions and limitations, the way is ahead for the use of artificial intelligence in pediatric practice. Thank you.